Hey Barbie, my name is Andrei, I'm 18 years old and I'm from Romania. I've been watching geography now since the end of the A countries or the beginning of the Bs, I'm not quite sure, but I certainly became a big fan of it. I really love my country and talking about it and uh, this video is to show you why I do without very much research. I'm very sure you are going to do more research than I did <laughs> in the things I'm going to tell you are just from the top of my head. And, um, this video is very spontaneous because um, I ju it just popped into my head one night when I couldn't sleep. I, I thought, hey, let's make a video for Barbie. Even though it's the end of May and you just announced the Haiti episode, but whatever. The idea to make this video for you came up to me in order to give you some information in advance before you even start thinking about making the video about Romania. And in order to, I don't know, interact with you a little bit because I, you seem like a cool guy. So let's dive in. It's time to learn geography now! As you probably know and mentioned in the chat episode, our uh, flag is quite simple. It's that basic rectangle with three stripes, blue, yellow and red. Now, allegedly, blue stands for liberty, yellow stands for justice, and the red stands for... Brotherhood. <laughs> Romania is located in southeastern Europe, bordered by five other countries, Ukraine to the north and east, Moldova to the northeast, Serbia and Hungary to the west, Bulgaria to the south, and the Black Sea to the east. It consists of 41 counties, or 42 if you consider their capital and the larger city Bucharest, which lays in the southeast of the country. And that's quite difficult because around the city of Bucharest there's the county Ilfo. And the Wikipedia page of Ilfo says that the city of residence of the county is Bucharest. And that's kind of confusing because Bucharest is its own county. I don't know. The shape of Romania is quite interesting because it looks like a fish. I really hope you see it because my current German colleagues can't see it. I don't know why. I live in Germany since 2012. The most important national airports are of course in Bucharest. Two of them, actually. Henry Quando and Aurel Vlaico. Another important one is Sibiu International, where I come from, Cluj Napoca International and Turgu Mures International. Besides from them too, there is Timisoara, Traian Vuja, Yash International, Craiova and Constanza Mihaiko Gernicano. The most important river of the country is of course the Danube, shared with Serbia and Bulgaria and a little part with Ukraine, because at the tail of the fish it splits and reaches Ukraine somehow. And then of course it flows into the Black Sea. Apart from the Danube, another important river is Muresh, Olt and the Prut, which is shared at the border with Moldova. We often refer to, the, to Moldova as our neighbors across the Prut. The highest peaks are Moldoviano at 2,544 meters, I've been there, and Negoyu at 2,535 meters, and I've been there too. The most forests in Romania are in the, in the southeast and in the west. There we can see lots of animals like foxes, bears, wolves, lynxes, I don't know, sheep, uh, goats, black goats, and of course uh, the national animal, the eagle. Apart from those, Romania has a lot of castles, fun fact. Prince Charles of Great Britain has uh, relatives in Romania. He even bought a house in Romania. The most popular foods in Romania are, of course, mamaliga, sarmale, which is kind of Turkish, -ish, and, of course, meat. Almost every weekend you can see uh, Romanians outside with the barbecue preparing some meat. They're just a must-be on the barbecue. Romania consists out of 20-ish million people. The, most of them are Romanians, obviously. The, they are, the major majorities are Hungarians and Moldovans. I don't really know the numbers, but out of experience, I just know that they are the biggest minorities in Romania. The currency is the Romanian lion, or leu. That's, that's the new lion, because this is the one leu bill. The old one were 10,000. This one is the 50 bill, and it used to be the 500,000. The coins of Romania, bani, which basically translates into money. Now you got 50 money. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but we like it. We mostly use the C and F outlet and we drive on the right side of the road. There is a total of nine regions in Romania. The east we have, like I said, Moldova, 
uh, Romanians with Russian accents, like mo the Moldovans themselves. In the north we have Maramures and Bukovina. They are mostly alcoholics, but a little related to the Moldovans. To the west we have Krishana and Banat. In Banat are many Serbs, like because it's like on the border with Serbia. To the south we have Oltenia and Muntenia. Those parts are basically Bulgarian. Not, not really, but there are many Bulgarians there. And many Romanians from there go to Bulgaria in the summer. And to the southeast we have Dobroja. And that region is just about the sea. Okay. You go to Dobroja, you go to the sea. And in the center and heart of Romania we have Transylvania. Uh, Transylvania, the region where Count Dracula has become famous. Uh, side note, uh, a very good friend of mine lives in, near Stuttgart in, in Germany and his colleagues thought that Transylvania was a fictional place, like, like Narnia or something. In Transylvania there are some counties where um, Hungarians are very dominant. Actually you have the Romanian citizenship, they bring their children to life in Romania, they have the Romanian citizenship, but, but they just don't speak the, the language, they basically be, uh, remain Hungarian. For example, a few years back when I was still living in Romania, I used to ski a lot and participate at the Romanian national championships in skiing. And uh, I was teammates with some Romanians allegedly, but I couldn't get along with them. You know, I, our national language is of course Romanian with specific dialects in the region. For example, in Ardea, like a little part of Transylvania, we say fine or like every kind of shoe we call papuch but the rest of country that just doesn't <laughs> looking at the religions the most romanians are christian ah, and atheists i i personally haven't heard about uh, muslim romania some of our famous people are george haji nadia komanech jan siriak iliana stase mihai eminescu konstantin brunkush petrake poenaru who invented the pen and of course Dracula, which is actually a character based on a former king we had called Vlad Tsepes, who used to punish people by, um, I don't know. <laughs> Considering that some, some cities in Romania speak German as their second language and it is taught in school as the main language actually, because Romania has been influenced by the Saxon to the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, or basically German. The cities have those plates when you get in that are in three languages, obviously Romanian, German and Hungarian. Not all of them, but mostly in Transylvania. Romanians mostly get along like, with people from countries that speak Romance languages like France, Spain, Italy, Portugal. Our neighbors, like Hungary, is like okay, but, but we had some controversial background and this, this current thing that the Hungarians and Romania want auto autonomy, like build their territory there, mm. is like pissing us off, basically. The Serbs are like, eh. With the Bulgarians, the Romanians are very competitive, like in soccer, our national sports are very competitive. Whenever a uh, Romanian side plays a Bulgarian side, it really gets on. <laughs> like there are like two sibling football clubs in Romania and in Bulgaria, because both were clubs uh, affiliated by the respective armies and they are like brothers to themselves. With the U Ukrainians we have like nothing special really besides of a very well-known Romanian uh, soccer trainer who trained Shakhtar Donetsk for a very long time and, and basically won everything with them and is very respected there. Our best friend must totally be Moldova. Many students from Moldova travel across the border to us to like study, to work afterwards and gain, gain the citizenship. Many people as well from Moldova and from Romania. Reunification again. We speak the same language, we have the same blood actually and we just want that back. We just want our little brother back. So that's basically it. Remember Barbie, these are just things from the top of my head. I didn't quite do any research at all and I'm sure you will find a lot of more cool stuff to teach the geography. In conclusion, I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something new about Romania from me and I hope you would respond to me to this and keep in touch. Stay safe, stay tuned.